Oh yes, welcome back. It is Doogie and you're in the horror den. And it's time for some new movie reviews. And yes, tis the holiday season already. Thanksgiving was a little under a week ago. Or more. I don't know. Losing track of time these times of days. But I do have to say... Thanksgiving was always good. Lots of food, lots of yummy food. Hope you enjoyed your holiday weekend, your long holiday weekend. And I got a Thanksgiving-themed horror movie to review with you. <clears throat> and also another movie, of course. But before I do that, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And tell me what some of your favorite holiday-themed movies are. Because coming up, December is going to be filled. Hold on. Yeah. Filled with, you know, filled with holiday-themed murderous killers and all that lovely stuff that we all know and love. And that's why we watch horror. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I got a rating system. M, MD, MDK, murder, bad movie, MDK, okay movie, MDK, great movie. You know this by now. So let us go right into... The movie first I'm going to review is a movie called Thanks Killing. Yes, Thanks Killing. I saw this last year when I was getting ready to do a Thanksgiving movie. I did Pilgrim last year. This year I did Thanks Killing. <clears throat> and let me just tell you, Thanks Killing is about a murderous turkey. I kid you not. It's uh, some kind of like demon-like turkey who kills the ancestors of people who wronged Native Americans all the way back then. You know, way back when people came over and took over. You know, so this turkey, not only is a murderous rampage turkey, this movie talks, curses, uses shotguns, you know. <laughs> um... I don't know what to say about this movie. I mean, I went into it not expecting much. I expected it to be funny, which it was, because it was totally ridiculous that the whole turkey was, you know, like a puppet the whole time, you know. Um, there wasn't a lot of blood and gore. I do have to say that. Good old for thanks killing. Um, but when the turkey gets revived by a dog pissing on its grave, and the turkey wakes up and says, Oh, I'm pissed! And then kills the dog. You know you're in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> um, the acting is just like, oh my god, who's acting in this movie? Because it was not good. The, the turkey was better than the humans. And that could have been, the you know, one of the laughing stocks of this movie. It could have been made that way on purpose, which it probably was. You know, because the whole thing was like a joke on itself. You know what I mean? The whole time, like, there's a part in this movie where the turkey kills... One of the main characters' father and wears his face. And the kids don't realize that it's a turkey instead of the father, you know? So. <laughs> oh, thanks, killing. Thanks, killing. Uh, if you want to see something funny and bloody, go right ahead. If you're expecting something scary, it is not. It, but it was funny. I do have to admit. It was very funny. So, uh, for Thanks Killing, on blood and gore and comedy, you know, it, it's, I would say an MD. And you're like, Doogie, oh my god, you just gave this movie an MD. Like I said, it wasn't meant to be scary. And if it was, holy crap. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it, it was funny to watch. You know, I'm going to give it at that. So, if you want to watch a movie that's definitely not serious, but a horror movie... Check out Thanks Killing. And there's like, they made like a few sequels too. So um, I'm not going to really divulge into those and watch those because I know what they're all about now. But maybe if I get bored one day, maybe I will. But it's not on my list anytime soon. So Thanks Killing, <clears throat> an MD, right here on Doogie's Horror Den. And now, time for a second movie. Now, this movie. <clears throat> It was a little bit uh, serious in tone. It's 
movie came out in 2013, directed by Andres Muschietti. I hope I said it right. Um, produced by Guillermo del Toro. Amazingness right there. Um, it is a movie called Mama. And it is about this father who apparently kills his wife and takes his kids with him. And they get into a crash in the snowy hillside. And they find this old cabin. <clears throat> and this father is about to off his children. <clears throat> then the spirit comes behind and takes them and kills them. And then these girls are left with this spirit for apparently I think it'll take four or five years. And the identical twin brother of the guy who just died has been searching for years. These four or five years trying to find the girls. And eventually some hunters come across this come up, uh, come across, come upon this cabin and they find them. And it's re... So he gets them in court and he gets the girls. And apparently the spirit was not very happy about this. As the spirit comes too. And the girls are very, very strange and eerie. Um, yeah, it's, you know what, it was a really good movie. It was something a little bit different. The only thing I didn't like about it is when the spirit is like crawling. It looks like a big hairball. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Um, but there's, a, there's a two girls. The, young, the younger girl still isn't getting, like, why am I going to be with these people? I'd rather be with Mama, which is the spirit. The older sister doesn't want any part of it. And then it all comes to a head in the end. And uh, the actual end was was not what I expected it to be, which is, I liked it. In the end, you know, you find out that this, uh, this spirit, this ghost, uh, lost her own child when the, the village came after her. And she's been searching for her. So that's why she took care of these girls. And in the end... She's trying to lure, you know, them with her. And then the older girl says no. You know, but they end up... T uh, the spirit mama takes the young girl because she wants to go. And then they fall off the cliff. And, you know, they... You know, she dies and goes with mama. You know? <laughs> um. So the ending was kind of like a little bit somber. A little bit. But it was different. It wasn't like the old, no, spirit, you go away. I'm going to stay here. No, one of the girls did die. Perished, perished, rough cliff. And uh, so um, it stars the guy who played uh, Jamie in uh, Game of Thrones, uh, Nikolai, how do you say his name? Coster Waldo. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, and Jessica Chastain are the parents. Um, it was good. It was good. I liked it. Um, I would give Mama a MD. I'm not going to give it an MDK just because of the hair. <laughs> the hairball attack. That's that's all how I can explain it. A giant hairball trying to attack people. Come on now. But it was two MDs, so we're gonna skull the skull the holiday movie and Mama. Ah. Well, my horror peeps, this is the time. It is the time. It's the holiday season. Yes, it is. And I'm going to be researching. I need you to give me some feedback on some uh, horror, holiday horror movies that I have not reviewed yet. I've reviewed a lot. But come on, give me some, um, give me some uh, examples. Say, Doogie, I want you to watch this and let me know what you think. Um... But yeah, I'll be coming to you very, very soon with some new reviews. Until then, my horror peeps, I want you to watch a horror movie. What's it going to do? Scare you? Oh.